Good morning, and this week's Block News, Gutenberg 14.2 releases new improved writing experience with one shortcut you're going to love. Learn how to create your own block patterns and also how to lock block patterns. Hear the latest Gutenberg review read by Alan Rickman. Wix announces $150 million of cost cuts. And Canva introduces a brand new web builder to their platform. Let's get newsy. Time for Block News. It's news about blocks. Gutenberg 14.2 introduces some nice improvements. The three of my favorites. The first is global style support for kerning. That's the spaces between your letters. The second one is as you type now, the floating toolbar will vanish. You see the little floating toolbar that appears above here. It actually disappears as you type. Generally though, I always stick that to the top of my page by going up here and clicking on top toolbar to get it out of the way anyway, but it's a nice improvement. The third one is more exciting, I think, and that is if you hit square brackets twice, you can actually link to another page. So then you just go square bracket, square bracket, then you start typing the name of the page you want to link to, and it'll appear, and then you just hit return, and it automatically creates that link for you. So that's gonna make creating internal links super easy and frictionless, and as we all know, a good internal link structure is great for your SEO. Rich Table wrote a great article on how you can allow only content editing on your blocks. So as an agency, you can create blocks and only allow your clients to change the content. I'll put a link to his article in the description below, but here's an example of how this looks on the front end. You'll see this block I've actually restricted. So over on the right here in the block settings, my end users can't actually change any of the styles of each of these individual blocks. All they can do is actually change the content. Let's go and look at the code view so we can see how this actually works. Let's go to the code editor. And all you have to do is put this bit of text here in the group that you've created for your clients and they can no longer actually change the design of that group of blocks. Next week, I'm gonna be creating an in-depth tutorial on block patterns, how you can create your own block patterns and also how you can lock block patterns for your clients. So if you wanna see that, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when that one comes out. Every week we keep a BDI on the latest Gutenberg review and this week it's a one star review, but as ever, it's read for us by Alan Rickman. It sucks, it will be harder to use. There will be other programs that are simply easier to use. I have been a big fan of WordPress, but not anymore. Not happy and very confusing. Thanks Alan, beautifully read as ever. In other news, Wix announced $150 million of cost savings this week because their growth isn't going quite as planned. I'll be doing a video all around Wix, hopefully in the next few weeks, so keep an eye out for that one. Also, Canva rolled out a couple of weeks ago a brand new website builder in their platform. Now, Canva has 75 million active users every month. It's valued at now $40 billion. I've covered that in a previous video, but I'm gonna come back to it. So again, if you wanna see that video, hit subscribe to be notified when I release that one. That's all for this week. If you want to keep up to date with all things WordPress and Gutenberg and blocks, hit that subscribe button now and you'll be notified every time I release a new video and also every time I release some new block news. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye.